the haircuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus, we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. <gasps> oh, wow, take a look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. I just saw my hair. That night, Mummy brushed my hair. Oh my goodness, it was all tangly. So We're going to have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You want to be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, nursing. The funny lady had bunches, just like mine. Do you like my bunches? You do? You've got bunches like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. The funny lady sang a song all about my bunches. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I sleep and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I sleep and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. Night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Uh, no, I want my bunchies. I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bunchies. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my hair cut. Hey, Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry. Cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity, snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity, snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my hair cut, my happy, happy hair cut. Go for it, Tig. Get your hair cut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my hair cut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my hair cut. My happy, happy hair cut. Are you happy with that? Yeah. When the hairdresser saw Willie, he wasn't happy. What's that? It's only a toy side. Oh. I like having my hair cut. I love Wooly. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex. And a Triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Rawr. 
at nursery school, I painted a big, big diplodocus. I gave my diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. Okay, just bones. Just bones didn't Love sound that. very exciting. But I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my granddad. Let's get up these big steps. Big dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur. Hey, granddad. Wow. Oh, uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus. It was real. It was big. It was bigger than me. It was too big. I was scared. What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig. Big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad's. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar! It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. Fire alarm. When I was little, something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Wooly helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. Come on. It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Beep ba, be ba. A fire engine came round the corner. I like the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. 
The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. We're checking. Firefighters said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. We wave bye-bye to the firefighters. Bye-bye, firefighters. There, wasn't that exciting? Said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After break, I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah, let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo 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 woo! Beep 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us, they're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Whee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beba, beba. We ran about. Be fire engines. Beepa beepa. My fire engine was going so fast that Wooly flew off in the air. And on your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Wooly. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. Got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky, spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats, and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. There's Peter Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan, sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. 
When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, that's My name. sailor hat was gone. Oh. It floated away. You know, it wasn't my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No. No, yeah, I wanted that. my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, I, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. I can't see a couple up there. Why? When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willie came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling, and it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. Hello, Mummy! Hello, Tig! When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel and Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! 
You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. Twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy. And Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. Hi. Hi. Angel, tell me on the week. Hello. <laughs> we explored all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the woods. <laughs> there wasn't any quiet while we played. <laughs> when Whirly slid down the slide, oh. Angel's mummy <laughs> got a shock. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet, and I love Willie. Hair wash day. One day, when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. Okay. Daddy head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, two, I counted to ten, but I couldn't oh. quite stop peeping. Nine, ten, ready or not, here I go. I found Daddy behind the sofa. <laughs> Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No eight, peeping. Nine, ten. Willie was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Willie. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Willie are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. OK, you ready? King Willie, seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Willie open their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They look for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Holy, she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh dear. Found you, Tig. No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved hiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut. No peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping! All done. No more stings. <laughs> hey, Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> Yeah, Rubber Dubba. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Come on before the bath gets cold. Why don't we go to wash Willie's hair as well? Bath time, said Mum. 
Mummy, wash my hair. I close my eyes tight. Light like in hide and seek. One dubba dubba, two rubber dubba, three rubber dubba, four rubber dubba, five rubber dubba, six rubber dubba, seven rubber dubba, eight rubber dubba, nine rubber dubba, ten rubber dubba, and swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash, <gasps> and Mummy jumped. Don't worry, Mummy. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willy. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willy. I love Willy. I don't smile. Get your photo taken, you? When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willy came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. We're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting's happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Take a look at your socks. I'm gonna have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire likes my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, hey, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. <laughs> Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one her. was grumpy. I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair 
and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Wooly didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Ooh. That looks lovely, Tig. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is Daddy okay. plugged the light in. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. The box. the box. I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe, but when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops, big hairy monsters. Round and round they go, just like the sheep, because that's what the hairy monsters are, just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little spider on the wood. I like my new light. What's this, Tig? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Wooly. Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. We played people. We played sliding. 
we play jump here in the cushions. Whee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's pool. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. I want toys! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! We shouted, shouted, shouted! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig, it can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a candy. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. Wooly! I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Wooly. Sand Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we move When I was little, I went to the seaside. He had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. Oh. Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tig, picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. Mmm! Yuck! Sand? There's not sand in your sandwiches, though. There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. 
just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sandcastle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I loved my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. <gasps> no, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish! What magic shape! Swish! The sand will make tomorrow. Swish! But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. <laughs> On our way back to the car, Bully and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Willy came too. Tig, why don't you come and have a look at your dress? There was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes, Auntie you... Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put on my dress. Oh, Tig, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. So My pretty. auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. <gasps> Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr. Tonka, and the Giggly Lady, and Granny, and Mummy, had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend, Clive, pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, she was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my Granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer Granny up.
Granny likes my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. <laughs> Mummy said we have to get more pestles. I didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone else is fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Whee! Hey, Tig, it's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying. She was happy crying. Ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willy, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I like to make everyone happy. I love Wooly. The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willie came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. You painted lots. That is such a good picture. Can you go to the toilet, Tig? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Tig, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Girls, come with me. Wait, you see that? Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited, I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. No, I said, I want to see the funny picture. It's funny! A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! Wind machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. 
I didn't want to go to the new big smelly toilet. Hey Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh, That's all the outdoor spider! I love Willie. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hi, Dada. This is Willie. Oh, I love Willie. We didn't go to the shops. We went a long, long way away to the country. Willie. Go and get Willie. Willie came too. In the country, we went through a gate. We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We walked down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy <laughs> mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? Big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. What do you think? Look. <laughs> Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. I see the cow. No, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. I knocked on the door. Oh, well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we'd better go and see the chickens then. OK. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. I wanted to see the cow. The chickens laid some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye-bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Oh, what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past the cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Why not try it one step at a time? Willie whispered. Tig, one step at a time, it's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, 
one step at a time, like Grandmother's footsteps. Come on, creep up on me. Saw you! Pass the cow. You pass the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willie? <laughs> Look, Willie. Funny cow. <laughs> Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Bye. Bye. Come on then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah. Come on then. I like cows. And I love Willie. <laughs> Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I had been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Get Take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a big girl. You Daddy have to take picked my hand. me up right. and carried road. me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, to choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I said okay. and sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. 
you can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy. Oh. And say sorry to Daddy. On, Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. Thunder! When I was little, I liked big loud noises. Willy liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. Fire! Fire! I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Oh, Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. Oh. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like thunder. Come on, said Daddy. Oh, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Put them here. I never seen yeah. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. <laughs> I liked the noises. It was exciting. Did you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane. It hit the pin with a big, right, loud big clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. If you knocked over all the pins, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. Let's see. We took Let's see turns we to roll the ball Come on. and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun! When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big, clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willy. Hey, Tig, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next. Or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim Pin Bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be. Flash! Roll the ball, and... Clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball, and... Clatter! That was a strike. Ten pins! So go for it, Tig. See how loud the next bang will be. Yes, I thought. Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs. You OK, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten-pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like thunder. 
thunder, but I like ten-pin bowling, and I love wooly. Two things. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willie came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift, we met Daddy. Hi, Tig. A lovely new dress. Daddy liked my new dress. OK, then, do a fashion show. <laughs> Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop, they had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried in the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one, or do I have that one, or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun, but when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, Two shoes the same colour, so you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Mmm. Hey, Tig, it's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose, but you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. Hey, Tig. <laughs> I love Willy.